Sales and Transportation. Uh, we will start with a presentation on the risk and non security project. So we'll be starting with that. And then at the next stage, we'll do our regular uh, procedure. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, I'm Suzette Denslow, and what I'd like to do is do a very brief overview um, of the Redskins package, and I know other members of council are going to talk this way. Um, and then Byron Marshall will follow me and do uh, an overview of some frequently asked questions so we can um, provide more information. So, what I'd like to point out about, and I know all of you and probably everyone in the room has heard our presentation about the partnership between the city, the Redskins, and Bon Secours. But what I would point out to you is this is a, an economic development package. It started with looking for training facilities for the Washington Redskins for a summer training camp. And we have parlayed that into a very important economic development package for the city. The value of that package in terms of capital investment is $42 million at three locations in the city. It's 115,000 square feet of office space. Over 200 new jobs in the city of Richmond, which are related to health, with an annual payroll of about $19 million. The economic value of the Washington Redskins being here to the community is in the range of $8.5 million a year. Um, in terms of health services, this will be the largest expansion of health services in the city in years. It's not only at the west part of the city, behind St. Mary's, an expansion of St. Mary's facility. It's also in the east end attached to Richmond Community Hospital and at the Lee Street site um, with a new location for health services that will be related to the sports presence for men's health, nutrition, fitness, and anti-childhood obesity. This is a package the mayor has put forward because it's good for the city as a whole, it's important for the city as a whole, and the, pro the part of the process we're in now is asking questions, getting details, and it's also fine-tuning this. So if there are improvements we need to be making to this package, we want to be doing that. And if there are improvements that you all have or questions that you have, we want to make sure they're getting out now. Um, there's, there's been a lot of talk about the West Hampton School property and what will happen in that community. We are working on that. Bon Support has a community meeting this evening at 6 o'clock. At St. Mary's, and we are planning director Mark Oliver will be there to discuss the next steps in the planning and review process. We'll have a map that shows three or four different locations for a top lot, which is one of the remaining issues for the uh, West Hampton neighborhood. So we're hopeful we can begin the process of working with the West Hampton community on the specifics of how that will work. Obviously, we will also, the Bon Secours will be working with our city planning department, the planning commission, and city council as the months go by about what will happen with that site. Um, there, one of the issues that has not come out probably fully is that these sites will pay taxes. At two of the sites, there will be direct payment of taxes to the city real estate business professional occupational license tax, people tax, and business personal property taxes. At the Lee Street site, that will be done in payment through payment in lieu of taxes, but it will be the equivalent amount to what it would have been. So Bonsport is paying taxes at all three sites, and the estimated value of those taxes is somewhere <coughs> over $400,000 a year in new tax streams as a result of this proposal. Um, in terms of similar proposals that have taken place, and I'll cite one that the state has done recently in this area, and that's with the Lincoln film. The state did spend money to attract the film, to come here, to hire people, to spend money in the community, and now to have Richmond be part of a film that is getting huge acclaim and making a whole lot of money. Um, that's what economic development is supposed to do, it's to build up projects and build up the community through it. And the, the last thing I'll say before Byron Marshall um, speaks is that
out. One of the things the city has been criticized about over the years is how slowly it moves in the development process. City Council has talked about it, the community has talked about it, the newspapers and the business community have talked about it. And this is an economic development proposal that is coming at us fast. It is coming at us fast. We want it to open next year in July, and we have a short window of opportunity to make this happen. I know it's uncomfortable to have things move this fast, but it is one of the goals we have in this city is to have a city government that can be flexible and that can make good economic development projects work. So I will, with that, I obviously will be happy to answer any questions, um, but I'll turn it over at this point to Diane Marshall, which is the administrative office. Before she sits down, do we have any questions? Thank you very much.